Hey everybody, welcome back to Resident Evil 5. I am the Blue Street 2 and last we left off. We killed the bat scorpion thing. We're good this time. We just just actually fall into a pit and disappear. Lapsed and died, and we stole a uh a gem off its corpse. Good gem. Cost about like a... 10,000 gold. Well, cost and worth about 10,000. <sighs> Excuse me. Looks like these are slots for three items. Impressive. They appear to be focusing sunlight into a laser like beam. I noticed. Damn it, Sheva! I had one job. Jesus. What do you want, Kitty? Oh no, did you hear that? Can I have that? I need ammo. Take this. Frick. 
teach you to mess with me. You grab it. Okay. Come on, okay. Come on, Roger. Go, 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 go. You grab it, okay. Save under here. 
all of them. Get upset. Nom, 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 nom. Thanks, Chevy, you knocked me right into the fire. Good for you. You grab it. Okay. I suffer you to live. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. Except some stupid bitch will. Mm. very angry. Right 
Perhaps I want to be reckless. Did you ever consider that? This is actually in actuality a choice I am making? Of course you didn't. Strangle the life out of you. And you deserve it. And I think you know that you do. And that's got to be the worst part of it. I'm starting to think that you're like darkness. Then again, you're not nearly as durable. And you can actually hit things when you swing at them. Right here. That's where we came in. Should be good. Looks like I'm genius. Are we finished? That pillar is in the way, but I think we can knock it over. She thinks we can knock it over. I want to hear what you think we can do, Sheva. I want to hear what we, what your exact answers, okay? I want to know what to do, and I want you to tell me. The problem is I already know what to do, 
and you have no answers whatsoever. Still an idiot, though. It hasn't changed. Trap? What a way to go. It's fine, you just stay right up there. I don't want you to do any put in any effort or anything. There's more trouble coming. Ouch. Ouch. Some kind of altar. Fire's done a number here. Or maybe it's supposed to be on fire. Did you ever think of that, Chris? Of course he didn't. You're a dumbass. No, 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 no. Wait, there's nothing in this. Oh, I just remembered. Huh. 
I swear that triggers a trap. Come on, you knuckle knob. stood there and looked vapid. Which I'm starting to realize is like a specialty of yours. My god. Flower. underground there's plenty of light these are no ordinary flowers wait Can be sure they wanted to keep this place a secret. Some of this equipment's got the Triso logo on it. Are they working together? Pretty sure that weren't they weren't established at the same time. gun is now probably stronger than the other ones, but it doesn't have the same piercing level. Not sure, but obviously there's a connection with Umbrella. 
And that's never a good sign. We can worry about this later. First, we need to find out about Jill. You're right. Let's see what we can dig up. Well, what do they have to do with this? Really doing research on these flowers? Sure. Everybody knows the Umbrella Corporation were, were all botanists on the side. Excuse me. From Chief Researcher Brandon's Journal, number one. 1966. December 4th. Mr. Spencer once spoke of a flower called the Stairway to the Sun. Supposedly this flower would give the person who consumed it incredible abilities. Everyone thought it was nothing more than a rumor or a legend that Mr. Spencer was telling us, but Later research would prove us wrong. First person to recognize the validity of that story was my teacher, Dr. James Marcus. He hypothesized that a virus here to unknown might exist that could alter DNA. The man was so precipitous, his hypothesis turned out to be correct. The virus discovered in that flower was labeled progenitor. For three months in Africa, we worked diligently, fretted over results, and staved off attacks from not even going to try. After such time, our efforts were finally rewarded. Even Dr. Marcus, who, is, who until yesterday looked exhausted, was in good spirits. He wanted to return home as soon as possible to delve deeper into, into his research. I feel the same way. I want to learn the secrets of the, this progenitor virus as soon as possible. 1967. February 12th. We hit the metaphorical brick wall. We brought the progenitor flower back from Africa and attempted to cultivate it here. The initial culture samples of the particular virus have no, not shown DNA-altering characteristics. We cultivated the flowers to match produce the progenitor virus. At first, everything proceeded smoothly. The plants were strong and grew quickly. In a short amount of time, they flowered. But here is when a major problem surfaced. The flowers did not contain the progenitor virus. Perhaps the environment in which they have grown triggers the development of the virus. This matter must be investigated further. March 23rd. We've made no progress. We tried cultivating the flowers under different conditions, but with no luck in triggering development of the virus itself. Thus far, we have tried changing the soil, the water, temperature, and light exposure, all with no success. We got into a heated debate with Dr. Marcus about the direction this research is taking. During that debate, Mr. Spencer inject, interjected some foolhardy notion of starting a company. Without the progenitor virus, there's no point in starting a company. Does he not see that? It's all pointless. Chief Researcher's Brandon's Journal, number two. 1968, April 15th. It's been over a year since we've had any breakthroughs. That's why Dr. Marcus and I decided to return to Africa. We can no longer continue our research without the progenitor virus. I know these routine attacks by the... are really going to wreck havoc, wreck my nerves. But for the sake of our research, I will, push, I will persevere. 
face of my foreseen dismay, it was Mr. Spencer who provided the answer. If you're worried about the Ninpadia, then we'll have to just remove them from the equation. Only imagine the look of shock on our faces. The idea never occurred to us. It was quite an atypical solution to our problem, but it seemed to be the only option available. Dr. Marks, I decided to try Mr. Spencer's plan. August 19th. Finally, some good news. We learned they were able to chase the Impada off their land. The land we require only amounts to half those underground ruins, but it includes the area where the progenitor flower grows, and there should be no issues. Mr. Spencer said he plans to construct research facilities at the site, which will expedite our research into the virus. We hastily made our preparation to depart for Africa, but Mr. Spencer requested that Dr. Marker stay in Raccoon City and take over the training center. We were initially taken aback by this request, but we soon realized it was the logical course of action. Dr. Marcus needs a calm environment to properly conduct his research. If you were in Africa, there would be no proper facility for him to use at the time. I just hope the African research facilities get built soon. So now I will go alone to Africa and send back the samples of the progenitor virus to Dr. Marcus. Both Dr. Marcus and Mr. Spencer agree this is the best course of action. I start making preparations to go. I have a feeling I'll be pretty busy tomorrow morning, by starting tomorrow. September 29th. I've been in Africa for two weeks now. It's good. It's a good thing Dr. Marcus isn't here. This place is far from being a paradise of research and scientific discovery. The, the so-called research facilities are nothing more than a bunch of tents. We, and we have to deploy armed soldiers to keep the Nipadi at bay. The thing that gets on my nerves the most is the sound of construction for the real research facilities. How am I supposed to concentrate on research when everything is threatening to drive me insane? I'm trying to just concentrate on extracting virus samples from the progenitor flowers so I can send them to Dr. Marcus. Hopefully if I focus on my work, I can maintain, I can re remain sane in this godforsaken place. 1969, June 15th. Research facilities are finally completed. This is the real Umbrella African Research Center, not some pile of tents. I've come to a realization in the past nine months. The facilities are too small for our needs. We need to make them larger, more suitable for research. And we can fill them with the more talented researchers. This place needs to be our frontier in our progenitor re virus research. Our results will do a great service to Dr. Marcus and his viral research. A rare turn of events, that old skinflint Spencer actually agreed with me on this. I remember that OS. Research Center Director Brandon's Journal, 1998. Whew. November 16th. We're closing down the research center. It's strange, but I don't really care. I'm indifferent to the whole thing. I feel the same way as when I heard that the Arclave facility in Raccoon City were destroyed. When did I become so apathetic? I spent every waking moment researching and extracting the progenitor virus. Everything I did was for Dr. Marcus. Actually, when I think about it, I probably stopped caring the, the day I heard he died all those years ago. I didn't feel angry or happy or even shocked. I felt nothing at all. It is, it, is, it is as if all my emotions just shut down. I just kept sending out samples of the progenitor virus to all refer all umbrella laboratories. I was just an automated machine reporting to umbrella headquarters every time one of my subordinates made a breakthrough or discovered something new. I was like a zombie ambling through life. No thoughts, no feelings. And now the research center where I spent half my life is closed. I really don't care one way or another. It's probably all for the best. Perhaps it's too late to have any semblance of a life again. Telegram from James Marcus. T-Virus Development a Success. January 13th, 1978. Well, good for you. Voice copy. Umbrella training facility, Dr. James Marcus. Five, five, cases of the progenitor sample. December 15th, 1977, African Research Center, Director Brandon Bailey. Take it. Roger. Hmm? I don't know how. They could be using them to produce biological weapons. 
We're just pretty up the office. This is the facility from the picture. No doubt about it. We're finally getting somewhere. Are we? Trisel Reacher Miguel's Journal, number one. February 19th. When I heard it was THE laboratory used by Umbrella in Africa, my expectations were raised, to say the least. When I saw it, well, it's a lab in name only. I don't know how Umbrella ever used it, and Lord knows how Trisel could possibly have any use for it. The place was abandoned long ago, so there's nothing there of any value for us. Not one piece of lab equipment remains, at least nothing that still works. I can't say I was surprised, because I have expected this. Anyway, the important thing is the progenitor virus. If we didn't need that virus for our research, there would be no reason to come to this rundown umbrella facility anyway. We already have samples of the T-Virus, the G-Virus, the T-Veronica virus, and even the Las Plagas parasite. We have everything we need for our research. We just didn't have the, that damn progenitor virus. We finally got our hands on it. Hopefully this will give us the much needed breakthrough in our research. I can't wait to start working on it. March 7th. I wonder who came up with the, uh, the name Liquor for these creatures. I mean, when you see it, it's, it's long tongue. You just know it's the perfect name. But for researchers like me, BOWs like Liquors are just a pain in the ass. If I said Liquors were too perfect, I'd probably be going too far in my pr my praise. But they're pretty much an el evolutionary dead end. There's no room left for improvement. BOWs that were created using the T-Virus don't seem to show much improvement when the progenitor virus is administered. I mean, their abilities show some slight improvements. For example, their sense of smell seems more or less improved. But that's all we've got so far. They're still blind as an old lady, and they're ugly as shit. The biggest jump in their evolutionary evolution seems to be their ability to reproduce. I hate when things don't go according to plan, but there's, since there's still a demand for liquors on the BOW market, I guess things aren't all that bad. It's the flowers again. Somehow I don't think they're for Mother's Day. You don't know. An email to an acquaintance. Hey, I know this is sudden, but I'm going to be getting some time off soon. We've completed most of our work on the new project. Sorry, you know I can't talk about work. So they're giving us some time off as a reward for all our hard work. All the staff are leaving tomorrow. We'll finally be able to get out of this country. I'm heading straight back to Arizona, and I can't wait to get home and see everyone. More than that, I think I'll just be happy to get away from the high and mighty Miguel. Guy thinks he's some sort of super genius. Miguel's a guy that sits next to me at work, and he's a good researcher and all, don't get me wrong. He's got some good ideas and is good at noticing details, but every time he opens his mouth, he just goes on and on about how great he is. You can't even begin to imagine what torture it is to hear that day in and day out. I should be made a sedative I could give him. But forget all that. What matters is that I should be home back home within the next few days. When I get back, I'll give you a call. You gotta go out and get smashed. I could use the break. Talk to you soon, Ryan. Same animal, some animal. Not a way to go. Not a good way to go, rather. Careful. I saw something. So did I. Something I've seen before. Another time in another place. doing them a favor. Think about how long they've been in here without food. Things are starving. Starvation is not a good way to go. Don't get me wrong, I still feel terrible about it. Oh, 
you help me? Thank you. Alright then, we'll call it a video here, I think. And the Blues 32. This is Resident Evil 5. TTFN. Top for now.